entertainment gist section. My name is Che Zoe, and I have with me. I'm sorry, but the way you said it, you sounded so official. I mean, like, good evening and welcome to Girls of the Dog with Alpha by Joining the Oh, okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Uh, my name is Chica. Forgive mm. her tardiness, please. Yes. I apologize. Okay, so we have a lot of juicy gist. Juicy gist. Mm. Mm. Juicy gist. They are juicy because there is this particular person that has been on the news. And actually, for me, I thought that when she started the whole Jesus Girl thing, I felt Jesus uh, Girl thing. Yeah, there's, you need to. There's no such thing. Tell me you haven't been following her on Instagram. You can't be a Jesus. Girl. You are a daughter of the Most High God. <laughs> oh, please. So, as I was saying, yeah. When she started the whole Jesus Girl thing, I felt her drama is going to kind of reduce. Okay. Yeah, true. But now she's talking about my husband again. And she's kissing a cross dresser. I think I know who you're talking about. Mm -hmm. You can tell me. Tonto DK. Yes. yes. Tonto DK is in the news again. Uh, yeah. She's always in the news though. For the wrong reasons. No. Yes. I was going to defend her, but I was like, um, yes, true. Defend her. I no, I'm no, just trying to defend her. She's a daughter of the most high God. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. No. Well she went ahead to kiss a cross dresser. How do you define that alcohol makes us do a lot of things we regret the next day so how does a daughter of the most high god throw a party where you get to drink alcohol to the point where you start kissing the first place? let's not forget that jesus turned water into wine jesus did not drink at the wedding. wine at the wedding you don't know that well he could have drank it but he didn't get drunk to kiss a cross dresser Okay, so let's let's just tell people why we chose that. Anyway, on the first episode of our reality TV show, we did like KGTV. Yeah. Um, the actress revealed that her ex-husband, mm -hmm. Chanchil Oduna, Oduna, if I got that right, spotted with her after the after they got married because he could not afford to get a house for them. Okay, so this is the problem I have mm -hmm. with the story. It's obvious that Tonto DK went along with so many plots with her husband to That's seem so true. happy in her marriage. She seemed like she was better than and all of us single girls uh -huh. that and had Mr. X. husband was you know, supposed, supposed to be the dream of every other person. She would always put up stories about how he bought her two cars at the uh -huh. same time, two SUVs, uh -huh. and how um, God will give you your own husband. My husband is deep. deep. Let's move on to Jesus Girl thing. Okay. In quote, Tonto said, when I got married, we couldn't afford a house. Yeah. We stayed in my house in Vegas until I traveled to America. Even while I was in America, yeah. he was living in my single girl house here in Vegas with my house manager. In quote, to Peter. Peter is the house manager. Who, who do you who? I'm sorry, please. Who is the house manager? Sorry, me, I don't understand. Do I don't even understand, I don't even understand the essence of this whole story. Like, why are you telling us? Why are you telling us? And why are you telling us now? Because she wants to promote King Tonto, the reality team, like the reality show on Lina King. And she has to drag a stale gist from the Stone Age when we left it. It's not really a Stone Age thing, it's Tonto DK. Everything she says and does. Is drama. Okay, can we move away She can't from, help us. Can we move away from Tonto and her husband? I'm just jealous though. No, I'm not. You can, no, please don't even go there. Meanwhile, why would Tonto share a mouth to mouth <laughs> with the risky? Trust me, mm. this is not coming from a place of bias, okay? I don't have any issues with the risky whatsoever. Is it? But the problem is, no, it's not coming from a place of bias. Like, okay. check it now. The kiss is it. Ah, I repeat again. Alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. It's her birthday. She's thirty-three. She just she has. Tonto is drama. This thing is just drama. Idris Okone, aka Bob Risky. Bob Risky. Yes, Bob Risky. Actually, she had pictures and video on his. Um, 
um, WhatsApp, um, no, Instagram, Snapchat, 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 Snapchat yeah. and all that. And I'm like, you know my my best part. The, he captioned it, my sister. Told mm -hmm. told. You don't kiss your sister with your lips. It's not done. In my house, it's not done. I'm sorry. It's on about uh, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, because she's really weird. I might be weird, Zoe, but it's not like that. Please. Hold I agree to disagree. <laughs> okay, so fan, fans took to their yeah, social media, <laughs> as you know, to, <laughs> to, to talk about, um, you know, the kiss. Yes. Call it what the TV of the Nigerian Barbie and how they slammed Toto, who repeatedly, mm -hmm. reportedly, you know, preached to a church congregation recently. And let's not forget she typed in tongues too, but that's by the way. Go on. And she was flowing in tongues the other time on her Instagram story. Tonto is anyway. She's Tonto. I don't know if I should go ahead and read all these comments because it's too many. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And maybe one or two. Okay. Um, so the first one here, Homo to I that got that right. Says I don't wait for Una since. Mariah Small says, Wahoo. <laughs> Come and see you. Oh, he's calling on his friend, Henry. Uh, Henry K underscore a day. Mm -hmm. Come and see you. I don't even understand these people. They even mean my brother. I don't understand. Like, you're not alone in the understanding part. Okay. Because me, I know. He said, one is a female and the other is a she female. Mm. Okay. I don't think you can go from that. No, like, I, when, I, when, 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 I would rather not be like, mm, 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 yeah. Mm. But Tonto and Bob, Bobby, no, men, no, <laughs> no, I, I, no, 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 I mean, the light skin. Let's not, not even make it as I'm serious just as. saying, you guys should kind of filter it, you know, when you are out there. Put some filter on it. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah you, you get me that. Mm -hmm. Filter. Filter. Yes. So mm. let's move on. Um, <coughs> okay, from Tonto and. You know, I like to travel a lot. You do. Actually, the last time I was in England for the Royal Wedding. And you know, I was. Really I thought that I saw you there. Sorry, what are you trying to say? Serving champagne. That no. was you. No. no. That was no. you. No. No. Um, no. No. I was sitting with them. Um, um, you know. Yeah. Come <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Jamie Fox. Jamie Fox used to be my crush. Used to. Yes. I don't. He's still my crush. No. He's not my crush. Why? Not like, not like I got over him. I think I grew up, you know. I see. And I, I probably met younger men. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, away from that. I'm Jamie Fox like is. A, please don't look at me like that. He's on the news and he's being accused of sexual misconduct. I don't know why you are laughing, but Jamie <laughs> Fox is in the news because of sexual misconduct. Now, what I first heard about this story, like. When I first heard it, I yeah. felt maybe it was the normal, you know, sexual harassment, it's flying up and down, going okay. to where it's like. But actually, yes, it's sexual harassment. Just but in a different kind of way. Mm. Um, where, where are we going with this? Okay, where, where we're going, going is that musician Jamie Foxx has debunked all claims of sexual misconduct made against him by a woman who says he allegedly slapped her across the face with his mantle. I mean, his penis. And that was 16 years ago. <clears throat> that looked like a Do you want to explain it? No, I think it's self-smacking. <laughs> if you get smacked in the face with <laughs> it dawns on you <laughs> that something just happened. I don't even know why I'm laughing because this is not funny. It's not funny. It was supposed to be funny, mm -hmm. but Anyway, according to TMZ, the alleged assault happened in Las Vegas in yeah. 2002 when the accuser and her friend attended a party at the actor's place. In a police report, the woman says when Jamie tried to. Is it Jamie or Jamie? It's Jamie. Okay. Girl. When Jamie tried to get her to perform 
oral sex, she refused, and yeah. that was when he struck her in the face with his penis. The accuser adds that after the alleged assault, yeah. one of Jamie's friends told her that um, she had to get out of the house, after which she went to a hospital the next day to get treatment for a severe panic attack. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's not funny. Mm, mm, see. See, when you get smacked in the face, it's not funny. It could be it could be traumatic. Very traumatic. You know? <laughs> I'm sorry, no, see, sexual misconduct. let's just just let's just say this. Sexual harassment is bad. Mm. Um, guys harassing girls sexually and girls harassing guys sexually. Whichever way you want to think about it, it's sexual wrong. harassment is wrong. It's wrong. wrong. Let's just stick that. Yeah. It's wrong. Now this is but this is <laughs> sexual harassment in a world of its own. <laughs> I've never heard <laughs> of that. Mm. Is all must really be, you know, yeah, bulky mm. and what he going to handle it in that manner. <laughs> Please, Jay, Jay, let's be put it, Jay, control yourself. Oh. Let's, let's be serious minded people right okay. now. So, of course, he denied it, yeah? Yeah, Jimmy emphatically denies that this incident ever occurred, yeah. occurred and he was, he will be filling a report, sorry, Jimmy emphatically denies that this incident ever occurred, okay. and he will be filing a report with Las Vegas Police Department against the woman for filing a false police report against him. The first time um, Jamie became aware of this woman's absurd claims about an incident that supposedly occurred 16 years ago was when TMZ contacted his representatives Tuesday, apparently, about this story. The alleged incident was not reported to law enforcement in 2002 or at any other time in the last 16 years until last Friday because the incident never happened. I don't understand. Like, no, he's saying it never happened. He's well, saying why he's probably, he's probably also saying he's never met. I don't know what to say about the story because if actually this woman was traumatized when she's trying to make us believe, yeah. she would have filed a report in 2002. Yes. Well, let's not forget the fact that these are celebrities. And, and at that time in 2002, you know, the reason why a lot of females are coming out right now to talk about, you know, hashtag me too, hashtag mm -hmm. like everything has to stop mm -hmm. harassment and stuff they said at that time people would not have probably taken them seriously, seriously. Okay. but now we're in a new age mm -hmm. like you know it's 2002 old age yes now did you know this way back in charge as well from that time okay so away from the whole oibo and their yeah, sexual assault for her can we please observe a minute of silence okay for our how do I describe him? He's a legend. He's a reggae uh, legend as well as Nigerian reggae artist and music is concerned. Yeah. I'm talking about Raski Mono. So in the of silence. Did you close your eyes? Yeah. See. We do our minutes of silence in different ways. Some people stand up, some people sit down. <coughs> Anyway, reggae singer Ukeleke Onubia, popularly known as Raskimono, is dead. He reportedly died at the age of 60 on Sunday in a Lagos hospital. Kimono's debut album, Under Pressure, led by the single Rumba Style, yeah. was a big hit in the Nigerian music scenes in 1989. I'm pretty sure some people right here and some people watching me right now don't know this songs we're talking about. I think I can do one of the songs we're talking about. Do you know this song talking about Under Pressure? Yes. Sing it. Eh, under Pressure, my people. Under Pressure. Sing it. Oh. What's this in I'm doing now? I'm just <laughs> moving my mouth like, <laughs> like what? Anyway, last him or no, he's dead and we're really going to miss him because um, I yeah. didn't, I didn't, I, I was pretty young when you know, last him or no was ever. I think every, every household yeah. whose father was into music, mm -hmm. Whose father was into music. And if you ever went to any birthday party True. and they didn't play the Raskin mono, it had to be under pressure. Nah. Nah. That party has not started. But that's probably the only song I know of Raskin mono. The, the, no, no, as an under pressure, I don't know what was that. Anyway, just thank you for being honest. 
moving away from Raskin Olo will bring you um, more juicy stories from the entertainment scene of Nigeria. We're talking about Mr. Easy. Yes. And of course, Tipo Savage of Whiskey. We will not go away until we've given you that juicy gist. We'll be right back. Lights, camera, action. Superstar, superstar, superstars out. What will become of a talent without a platform to showcase it? What will become of a passion for movies, music or entertainment without an avenue to explore it? And what will become a good act in script writing, acting, makeup or realizing that dream of being a member of a creative crew without an avenue to explore it? The answer is simple with How to Have Fun Entertainment and Rolandsky Media Studio. That dream of being in the limelight and becoming a superstar is just one step away. Call on 0903-338-3239 or 0708-639870 to be part of the team. Powered by How to Have Fun Entertainment and Rolandsky Media Studio. That's what's up. Yes, I saw that story. 
I don't know what to mean. Was I shocked though? No. Okay, the rumors no, about your romance between the two of Nigerians biggest musicians. I think the biggest? Yes. They will pass. Whiskey and Tiwa Savage continue to heat up as a new video has emerged on the internet which allegedly shows the pair sharing a passionate kiss. Passionate scares again. Why? <laughs> it's not my fault. Because the kiss was pretty passionate. Okay. The video which is currently going viral appears to show superstar singer Whiskey passionately kissing his bestie, Tiwa Savage, in a club in Ghana. Okay, first of all, they are grown adults. Yeah. If they want to kiss in a club, it is their business to kiss in okay. a club. Okay. No. Is it? Uh, it's not really surprising. I think they've been going. Um, they've been traveling around together. Together. Yeah, the whiskey has been performing. He performed at the O2 Sleep. Arena in London, yeah, and snippets of things to talk about. Yeah, but, <laughs> but they've been traveling around together. He yeah. performed in Ghana, and he invited her on stage with him. They had fun. They, they, she called him her bestie at the um, hip, hip, um, hip TV. Uh, the head is, yes, the head, the head is, is the head. Head. Yes. she called him her bestie, and their friends, they're having fun, they're adults, leave them alone, Do you Nigerians. your bestie? No. My bestie is a girl. Okay. I think that sets up it. So maybe people that have male besties kiss their male besties. You have male besties, you kiss your male besties. No, I don't. I mean, it's like besties, like, you know what a bestie is sometimes. You know how someone ask you bestie or bestie like the bestie you mm. bestie get down with my take on this is they are living their best lives mm -hmm. they had a pretty amazing 2017 mm -hmm. and i think they're having an even amazing 2018 so okay. anyway um that's the size of our package today on the hhf tv entertainment juice corner if you want to around and get more followers on all our social media yeah. handles at how to have fun tv um facebook instagram twitter and please subscribe to our youtube channel for yeah. more juicy gist and watch out for our movie that is soon to be out tales of a liar you don't want to miss at that mm. ciao this is our it's called best back is the best one and our slogan for this new app is called Combat of Fetter to Remove. Thank you, one of us. Woo! 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 Is that supposed to be the name of a place or something? We met last night. You guys are awesome, especially John. Very hot. So, babe, you said uh, you are an Instagram model, huh? Yeah. Wow. Holy for you. That means you must have made a career out of Instagram. Instagram model? Yes. Since when are Instagram models? I'm models. I never knew. In your couches, they are so nice. Were they imported? Yeah, yeah. You know, my dad bought ours from England when he was visiting the Queen. Yeah, the Queen was auctioning some of her old stuff, so she just bought them. Dude, what's up with you? First, you accuse me of being gay, and now you're asking me if I want to have sex with your ex girlfriend. With this same mouth, in one night. Come on, man, get a life. I mean, you've barely known me for just one week on Instagram and a night in real life, and I don't get out of don't see that. People meet on the first day and still have sex, and that doesn't make them irresponsible. Josh, I don't get down like that. I don't sleep with people I just met on the first night. Oh my god. Do you not know that it is rude sleeping with people like that? What do you mean in my house? I have a right to walk into anywhere I like. And moreover, where are those boobs and ass I saw last night? Jesus! What's that? Haven't you heard of packaging before? Nigga, please. <laughs> <laughs> Lady, is that your part? Oh, sweet Chani. 